Now listen, we've all felt the pain of matchmaking recently. What is this game, man? Who am I playing with? I am so confused, man. What are these plays I'm watching? Dude, no! Get me out of that freaking game, man. Matchmaking can't come soon enough. Just can't come soon enough. Yeah, that. Between lobbies where you stomp or get stomped, playing Pred Roulette and queuing into a match that may or may not have a DC or a lever, it's been rare to get a game that feels even or even enjoyable in some cases. But that all changes on Tuesday. So let's talk about it. Omeda has announced something incredible, something fantastic. Their in-house matchmaker is now coming in version 0.15. Now that's really huge for a couple of different reasons. First of all, they've been using a third party company to run their matchmaking system, which is, you know, it, it's, it's tough to say, you know, it has not felt good. It's definitely not felt good at all. I'm sure a lot of you know, but another big reason that I want to talk about it is because a while ago, actually, let's look at it right now. Ace, February 10th, which wasn't too long ago, but he said new matchmaker is coming in March. New matchmaking coming in March. Now this is huge. This is absolutely huge because number one, Omeda has kind of had a track record of teasing something on, you know, in somebody's chat, on social media, in the Discord, something like that, and not following through. This is really huge because they're following through. It's coming in March. It's the first patch in March, March 5th, I do believe. Version 15 is coming with their matchmaker. So let's actually read it from the Discord and from their own lips. Heads up champions with version 15 arriving next week. We wanted to give everyone a heads up about the downtime required to get this update into your hands. Version 15 doesn't just bring our new hero Argus. It's chock full of new features and improvements. In fact, our biggest update of the year so far brings with it a full rewrite of our backend code base, which not only brings a number of optimizations and improvements in itself, love to hear that, but it also means we're finally shipping the first iteration of our brand new matchmaker. Absolutely huge. So it is going to be down for about 24 hours on Monday, which 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 is gonna hurt. I'm gonna I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss some predecessor time on Monday, but that's totally fine because we're gonna be getting the new matchmaking system handwritten from the homies over at Omeda Studios. And that makes me really happy. That makes me absolutely happy. So let's look a little bit more at this. New matchmaking has arrived and some other surprises. What other surprises could they be talking about? This is really exciting because now it's starting to prove that Ameda is going to be following through with what they're saying. And that's all we've been asking for. They're following through. They're they're pushing out probably a bunch of big content in this in this uh, patch. They haven't even given us the patch notes yet. Like I I think that in itself is is proof enough that this is going to be a beefy patch and they just want to make sure that they get it right. So they haven't got the patch notes into our hands. We're probably going to get that on Monday if I do remember correctly. Um, and this is Saturday as of recording. So this is big. This is really big. I'm excited to see those patch notes. I want to get them in our in my hands like as soon as possible, but we're just going to have to wait a little bit longer. Monday is coming around. I was half expecting them to be like, oh, sorry guys, we expected to push this out on this date um, and we, we can't. But as far as we could tell, it's happening. It's happening. We're feeling it. It's coming. And I wanted to bring up another tweet. Um, Sergeant Smokey, who is the CTO or the Chief Technology Officer for Omeda Studios, and he wrote this. Some of the work of this patch will be invisible. Some of it will be immediately visible to players and some of it will be felt by your experiences in game. You know a massive amount or just know a massive amount of effort has gone into version 0.15 and it will solidify the future of predecessor for the long haul. Now that's something that we've been waiting on. That's something that we've kind of waited with bated breath for to know that this game is, is here for the long haul. 
and to know that Omeda is actually planning to push it for the long haul. I mean, nobody want, nobody starts a business and wants it to fail, right? They start a business, they start a game, and they want it to succeed. They want people to enjoy that game. But it's been a little bit rocky over the course of 2023, and you guys have seen it. You guys have seen all the memes, you've seen all the clips, you've seen all the videos, you know? People in the community have felt like this game might not die, especially with Overprime just now closing its doors, shutting down its servers in a couple months. It hurts. It hurts us old Paragon fans, new predecessor fans. It hurts. So we just want to know that this game is going to be here for the long haul. And if Sergeant Smokey, if what he said is correct, this is really exciting for us. And another really cool thing is Robbie says he's filming a predecessor video at the office this Sunday, which as of the recording today, it's gonna to be tomorrow. <laughs> today is gonna to be tomorrow. Anyways, you, you understand, you understand. It's gonna be Sunday. Um, should I make a behind the scenes video too? Now, the last time that we got to see Robbie, basically in the flesh, in a video, was all the way back, let's actually see, 10, months ago 10 months ago was the last time we got to see robbie in the flesh rocking rocking that beautiful facial hair and telling us what's going on with the new stuff what's going on what's new in predecessor so i'm really excited to get a new uh ace video you know put out for predecessor to tell us what's going on to tell us what we can expect to show us some amazing stuff so once again I'm really excited. I'm really happy with where we're going, with what's happening. I wanna see this video. I wanna see these patch notes and I wanna, I can't wait. I actually can't wait until we get the patch into our hands because I wanna see what's going on in the game. And I'm ready for what Sergeant Smokey said, that they're here for the long haul. And uh, I I'm excited. I'm excited for everything that's gonna be going on. So friends, I hope this gives you guys hope. I hope that this uh, this first iteration of their in-house matchmaking system is going to go off with a bang. I'm uh, really excited to see the future of Pred. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this video. I wanted to kind of film a quick update video and talk about you know everything going on with predecessor with this new matchmaking system which is very exciting anyways if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and a subscribe here and you can even ring that little bell down there because uh you know what you want some notifications for some new choice plays youtube content right 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 yeah dude but anyways i will see you in the next one peace